Welcome back to uh, the next video, part three of the series on, what are we up to? Is it part three or part four? I think it's part three. Anyway, Yamaha 9.9, .9. it's a non-runner. Um, as you saw in previous videos, we've done a bit of work to it already. And she is ready to go. I've got it on, um, yeah, this video is basically gonna be trying to get some fuel through to the carburetor, pull it over a few times, see if we can get this, um, some combustion going um, from, the original components that are on the engine at the moment. So fingers crossed the fuel pump's working, fingers crossed um, the choke's working, allowing to, you know, if we can get this primed up and some fuel in to the carburetor, then we're gonna stand a chance, hopefully, of getting this thing fired up. Um, just got the Quicksilver tank. I didn't have a connector, so I've literally just had to cut the end off the fuel line. <laughs> <laughs> and just chuck it in the tank really of priming the bulb you know squeeze that until it's solid and you can kind of you can follow the flow let me just turn you around so follow the fuel line just to understand the flow so obviously it goes to that connector that connection's pushed in then it's a fuel line that comes all the way around to the the, the fuel filter make sure there's there's it's filled that up when you're priming it with the bulb so that comes up to the fuel pump here it goes in there and out there round here and then up into the carburetor there so fingers crossed we've got fuel going all the way up now up to this area here i've pulled the choke out so hopefully that releases some of the that primes the the carburetor bulb hopefully but yeah gonna pull it over a few times when you're pulling it over and you're cranking it over that creates this vacuum um, with a fuel pump that actually generates um, a sucking motion from this end and then a pushing motion going into the carburetor. So fingers crossed guys, I'm just gonna give this a couple of cranks over just to get it, hopefully the vacuum all pressurized up to, you know, up to the, the standard levels. And we, you never know, you might, you might hear a bit of a splutter. If not, we're going to get some easy start again, whack it in there, just to try and um, to warm it up, just to see if we can encourage it to, to fire up. But anyway, if it does fire up, we're going to have to stop it pretty quickly because it's not, as you can see, it's not in a bucket, it's not in a tank, it's not on any, any muffs or anything, so we don't want to damage the engine. So this is just trying to, trying to get it some combustion going, really, just to see if we can... If, you know, if, if this is successful, we're going to get the tank out and then see if we can get it running and idling properly. But this is stage one, really. Let's give it a go. With the easy start, that again just encourages all the systems to to to, to start coming alive. Um, the main one that I'm interested in is the fuel pump, and you know once it gets cranked over, um, that 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 kind of the motion of the fuel pump starts doing this. There's a little diaphragm in there that that moves and it basically sucks and pushes, sucks and blows the fuel up to the carburetor. So the more times we can kind of get that splutter, the more hopefully that fuel is going to make its way into the um, into the carburetor. Because yeah, it's definitely a fuel starvation thing at the moment. I'm just going to put, push the choke in, see what happens.
prime the bulb, push that fuel round, got to try and get it in, into that carb. Choke out. some more of this. It's clearly not getting, there's no fuel getting to the carburetor. So I've got to figure out why that is. A bit worried because the guy that originally had this, he put this 15 horsepower carburetor, probably Chinese one or whatever. I don't know, you know, I, I'm just assuming that's been put on correctly and all the jets and stuff have been, you know, tweaked to their standard ranges. But without any fuel in that carburetor, this is not going to do anything. Let's just keep pulling it over. a bit worrying, I don't know if the camera picked that up, but <laughs> it sounded like the um, the pull start probably slipped off of the flywheel. Okay, worst, scenario, worst case scenario really here is I'm gonna to have to take this pull start off and just access that carburetor a bit easier. And then I might try and undo the screws to see if the bowl, see if the bowl has got any um, fuel in it. So at the moment, there's just nothing getting through. Just try and unplug. Just gonna try and unplug the, um, yeah. I'm gonna unplug that one there. Because that one is the, did you see that? This line here, I'm going to unplug that and just see if there's any fuel in, you know, which would just suggest, you know, it's coming through here. It would, sorry, I can't talk, I'm so knackered. <laughs> it would suggest that, if there's fuel in this bit, it suggests that this fuel pump is working. Slash, there might have been some dirty old fuel in here. 
Again, there could be dirty fuel in the carburetor. That's just not igniting. Oh, it's just maybe clogged up or whatever, who knows. Made an interesting discovery. Um, so, I've obviously been tugging it and tugging it and nothing. I'm getting a good splutter now, I'm getting a good splutter, but then straight away, it turns itself off. Put loads and loads of the easy start up its nose and yeah, been pulling it over and like I said, I am actually getting life, but it's just cutting off straight away. So throughout this process, I've always been a little bit precarious, uh, dubious with regards to the condition of this, you know, this, um, the kill cord thingy bobby switch, the kill switch. Um, I've done an experiment. I've just taken this out, right? So this is this is fully in. Squirted some easy start up there, tugged it, and it's still spluttered and then cut out really quickly. So it's exactly the same as having this in as it is having it out. So that suggests that I think the kill switch is gone. Um, it's stuck on, obviously, short-circuiting the engine to cut it out. So we need to get a new one of these now, I think, or disable it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that might have that might might that that might be what it is. Kill switch is gone. So yeah, I mean, hopefully not too much of a job. Just got to get that out and a new one wired in. So it just route, routes down to the, this area here, goes through here into the engine. I've got to follow these lines around. Ah, oh, it's this one, isn't it? There we go. So this one here, no way. So that goes into this thing here. See that one there? That's the kill switch. And then into the engine. So, hmm. I need to get the old multimeter out and see, do a bit of diagnosis on the kill switch. And I think that that's obviously going to help. <laughs> that's going to make the world a difference. You know, if your kill switch is stuck on the off position, it's going to be shutting down your motor. Woo! Fingers crossed then. Could be an easier fix than having to get the carburetor off. But as always with these videos, nothing's ever easy. <laughs> anyway, I think we might end that on there, to be fair. Um, yeah, like I said, got to have a little play around with this kill switch. And then I shall do episode four. All to do with rewiring the kill switch and maybe like diagnosing it with a multimeter. Cool, we're getting there slowly, boys. Yeah, like I said, guys, thanks for watching the video and make sure you subscribe and stick around for episode four because it's going to be coming soon. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.